This episode of Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by Life. It's just clear to me that some of you hoes ain't about it. We're also being sponsored by money. If you ain't talking cash, please get away fast. Boss, 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 a boss, boss, boss. I'm a boss ass bitch. Hold the clap, spell down. I know I'm bad. Beat your ass, y'all say mad. I'm a boss ass bitch. Don't talk shit. That song is off of our latest album, Queen of the Ratchet, Ratchet Christmas. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, title go get your life and we're back oh tidings of pettiness and shade we're ending the year and ain't nobody getting nothing from the holidays from me i'm coella deville from disney's 101 dalmatian the year may have been rough for some but if you had an only fans it probably was popping for you i'm tremaine from disney cinderella i don't understand broke because i'm always sitting rich i'm medusa from disney's the rescuers herpy puss i have to commend you though you may still be a little delusional your shade has been very good lately why thank you tremaine and i must say your edges are looking a little less edgeless today and might i add you smell less like a tuna fish casserole and more like red lobster today and though you still may look like a hand-me-down hoe that shops at party city for her wigs you look a little less cheap today you know it's nice to see that you two have put your differences aside and y'all could be petty ass friends who said anything about friends we're more like petty associates i usually don't associate with people beneath me but i view medusa as a charity case i'm just trying not to get locked up because that hoe always saying something sideways out of goddamn mouth speaking of being locked up rapunzel has been put on lockdown for catching the coronavirus i say burn the whole tower down if you ask me i blame mother gothel in this she's always been a little jealous of rapunzel's success in other news after many years bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck have called it quits and ended their friendship. Those two were always at odds. What is it now? Well, apparently Bugs thinks it's duck season and Daffy thinks it's rabbit season. I'm not a fan of either one of them. They could both kiss my ass if you ask me. What the hell did they do to you, Coella? They both told me on separate occasions that they were not voting in a petty election. Speaking on the petty election, Coella DeVille has been announced as a presidential elect by the petty Supreme Court. Congratulations to the best scam artist and cheater that I know. The election was fair, Tremaine, and Coella won the popular vote. No, Coella just played a better game than me, but you know what? I'm not gonna be a sour puss. Congratulations, Coella DeVille. Why, thank you, you fake woke ho. Even though I don't think the president and vice president elect should be fighting in the streets. I wouldn't expect any less from sewer rats. Takes a sewer rat to know a sewer rat and you pop two of them out your vagina, bitch. I'm sure the petty audience wants to know how the fight went with Yzma. She ended up catching the Holy Ghost and passing the hell out. That wasn't the Holy Ghost. That was just her not really being about that life. Hopefully she learned a lesson and she'll sit her Bible thumping ass down somewhere. Blessed be the fruit and may the Lord open. I'm always living rent free in all you hoses mouth. Usha na na boo, bye. Let's cut to commercial before I have to cut a bitch. I'm petty as hell, I'll go to jail, you know. That song is one of the latest songs off of our album, Queen of the Ratchet, Ratchet Christmas. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your life. And we're back. And hopefully we can keep it cute. Right, Yzma? I think you have to possess the genetics to physically do that. So let's just try keeping it classy. How about that? I know you ain't over here trying to come for somebody's look, sauerkraut. Oh, no. I fully believe that ugly bitches need love, too. You hoes just got bad luck. The first ass whooping was gonna be free. Now I'm about to charge your ass for this one. Look, this ain't Mona Scott presents fairy tales and hip hop. All we came over here to do was make a truce with y'all. Right, Yzma? I wanna be an official host on the podcast. What? Oh, hell no. Have you lost your damn mind? And what credentials are you bringing to the table?
people, Yisma. It's a known fact that the petty audience loves me as much as they love you. I want to be a permanent host. It's what the people want. I don't see the problem with it. I think it would be good to add Yisma as a permanent host. But is that what the petty audience wants, though? The petty trinity is doing just fine hosting the podcast. We don't need a fourth person as a permanent host. I have to agree with Medusa on this one. Well, let's ask the petty audience what they think and stop assuming that we know. Nobody likes assumptions. She gonna stab you in the back if you make her permanent host, Coella. Then there really is gonna be a petty civil war and possibly the end. Y'all know the petty audience doesn't like it when we talk about the end. But it's true. All good things must come to an end. Like this podcast episode. Now, petty audience, would y'all like for Yzma to be a permanent host on the Queen of the Ratchet podcast? And with that being said, we hope that everybody's following everything that's Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. <laughs>